Greetings all. Well, I had a request from one of the viewers this morning about uh, tax credits and incentives for Hawaiian farmers. Um, and I told the viewer that it was a little too complicated with too many exceptions <laughs> and, and reservations and so on. Uh, you know, it's just too much of it for this venue. Uh, plus, also, I am no expert on this because I don't use them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, if I used, you know, government grants and tax credits, I, I'd have plenty to say about it. I just, I don't use them. Uh, I had a friend of mine who was extremely good at writing grants here. Uh, that and proposals. He managed to get the government to help him finance a dragon fruit farm, even though nobody had ever grown dragon fruit over here before. Uh, he also managed to get uh, the agriculture department to finance uh, uh, chipping and grinding the uh, albizia trees here because they're an invasive species uh, and mixing it with cow manure which is considered a toxic waste here in Hawaii and uh, creating a compost to feed uh, uh, farm crops. Here's my kitty. My cat just came up from behind me. She snuck up on me. Right Gracie? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, she always knows when I'm up to something over here. She says, "You want to, you want to say hello to everybody, Gracie?" Yeah. Here's Gracie the cat, and say hello, Gracie. Huh? Hmm. You good girl. Oh, she don't want to stand up here today. She just wants to sit down here by my feet. So you'll have to imagine the cat is down here. <laughs> she is. <laughs> anyway, so back to uh credits <clears throat> and such yeah he he managed to write a grant proposal that uh, got him a great big giant chipper to hook to his tractor and uh, convert his flatbed into a dump truck uh, i believe it was twenty eight thousand uh, dollar grant uh, to be able to create uh, the compost from invasive species and uh, environmental waste <sighs> but he was real good at that stuff and also something else I know from hanging around him and that is once you get the government involved in your projects they're gonna be looking up your butt with a fine tooth comb and a magnifying glass forever uh, yeah he constantly had the Department of Agriculture around setting traps looking for pests and inspecting the farm yeah it kind of gives him carte blanche to walk in now not everything is that way Okay, that, that was because of mostly because he had a loan and because of grants. Uh, but in the simplest, Hawaii does have um, discounts on their um, property taxation. And this is on the land only, not on the houses, but on the land uh, for farmers. So it, it, now it's been a while okay and this is the reason i was kind of hesitant to even do this at one time i did have that credit long time ago uh at the time i believe they reduced the tax on my acres here to 100 dollars per acre per year uh, because it was being used as farming now they have gotten very very strict about that it used to be they would call it subsistence farming if you had one chicken and a goat <laughs> yes hey people on oahu got tight about that and decided that they're gonna make it a little harder you're gonna have to actually be farming growing something for profit <sighs> so but there is a, a, a discount here on the uh, uh, property taxes. That's the first place I think you would want to start when you're going to look for uh, government help with incentives for farming here. Um, now, see, the reason I don't use these is because I, I can't have them all. <laughs> And so I have uh, currently three discounts against my property taxes on this farm and I cannot apply the ag discount with the other three. So uh, now 
the other three amount to solitary residence discount. Uh, if you live here in Hawaii and you only have the one house here in Hawaii, and this isn't a second vacation home or something, you get a sizable discount against your property taxes because you live here. Um, also, there are senior discounts on property taxes here. Uh, so there's one, I think, believe it's at 60, and I, there's another at 70. Um, they will uh, discount the assessed value by a certain dollar figure for each one of those. And so uh, that's where I'm at. And those discounts, I can have the three together, are collectively better than the ag discount. So I don't use the ag discount. Otherwise, the state does have incentives for growing organic food that should be of interest to a lot of people um, i don't know much about it okay i just know it exists and i am going to give you a link to the page at the county where you can look at it read it yourself and figure out how you go about applying for it and whether it's going to work for you or not um, there are also listings of other agricultural incentives um, and I'm going to put another link down in the text down here that's where you look for it if you're curious that will open you up to a bunch of other possible agricultural incentives here in Hawaii uh, for instance I know there is one for growing callow if you're a taro farmer there is an incentive here for that um, well then I, other than um, pages in the county's website, which will have collected links to get you into the forms and so on, that will start you there. Uh, other than that, we have the federal government that has uh, grants and has uh, um, various different programs that are associated to farming here in Hawaii. Um, they come up with some every time there's a session, once a month. Uh, the lady is Maisie Hirono. Uh, she's our, one of our ladies over there in Congress. And she compiles a list monthly. I get it in my email box of all the programs that they have in the federal government that have come up that apply to the state of Hawaii. And uh, so if you... I'm going to put <laughs> Maisie's address down here. Um, and you can contact her and just tell her you want to get in the newsletter and uh, sh she'll send you a list once a month yeah i have a huge pile of lists because at one time i had a friend ask me about the, the sort of thing about federal grants and that here in Hawaii. well so you know that's it's me a lot of times people come to me and they ask questions of stuff well a lot of times i don't know the answers to the questions the first place i do is i go to the source <laughs> i don't know about you but i usually will start with google you know and if i don't know who the local senator or representative is i'll google that once i get it then i'll find their office you know then i'll go in and i'll address them and usually after addressing them we get information back it's the same here. I did not. I did not know that the state of Hawaii had a uh, a, a Kalo incentive. I mean, it's kind of logical, but I didn't know that. I found that out this morning using Google. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and once you get in, you know, to the county's website, then it, it can lead you around. There's buttons and things you can push, forms you can fill out, but beyond all of that and i know a lot of you folks just don't like to do research and read stuff you'd rather have somebody do it for you i guess but i found through experience here in hawaii that when i need help with something that's bureaucratic generally whether it's at the federal level or whether it's at the state and county level I usually find I get tremendous help from the people that work in those offices. Yeah, I've, I have never had an experience here where I called up the Department of Agriculture and I said, how do I send cacao seeds to the mainland, you know? And they'll get on the phone and they'll tell me all about it. 
uh, if I need to know things about the, the the seed program over here, I've been on the phone with the with the guy at the seed program n numerous times. Um, it took me a while to try to figure out how do you find a form to import uh, I exotic plant and, uh, and animal materials here. Yeah, and I needed that to be able to get mushroom spawn here in the islands. Well, I got a hold of a number at the Department of Agriculture here in Hawaii and I called it up and the guy was real nice. And the next time I needed a form and I couldn't remember where the heck the right page was, I called him again. <laughs> yeah. I talk to these guys a lot uh, whenever I happen to need to and I find them very helpful. I would say it is probably the number one thing to do. <laughs> Just, you know, get yourself into the right corner of the bureaucracy, whatever it is you happen to be looking for, find a telephone number that associates and call somebody. They're generally full of aloha, uh, full of information, and um, I have yet to regret a single phone call uh, into the government here when I was lost <laughs> try to find out how I do things. It's big. It's a bureaucratic. You know, you get lost in it. So that, that there's my suggestion. Okay, because they're going to take you so much further than I ever could. Because hey, they they administer and dispense these things and they regulate these things. Uh, I don't even use these things. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I just I just don't have any government grants or anything uh, incentives or anything going on here at all. Uh, nothing. I'm kind of that way. Yeah, I usually get by. Uh, although the, everybody should easily qualify for our property tax credits, which will make quite a bit of difference. Uh, at the very least, if you're this is your only residence, if you're trying to farm here, well then you you get that discount. Okay, uh, I'm gonna cut it right there much more information than I have been able to provide will be under the links down here in the text. And so, help yourself. <laughs> Good luck, folks.